Good afternoon and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, my name is Reese Wolpies from KFC, or Wookie Triple XL. And in today's review, I'm bringing you the beginning of the new Icon headsets, which I'm going to be doing the entire range on. I am going to be splitting them into three reviews just to keep like for like with like for like. So there's some USB headsets that have 7.1 virtualization, which I'll do in a separate review to this set over here, which is going to be the Wired Alpha which is PS, well, both of these are completely PS4 and PC compatible. Um, and then obviously the wireless set, which is marginally impressive to say the least. So let's, without further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this uh, situation over here. So on my left is the wide version and it's pretty straightforward. It's got an inline control where you can mute and unmute your microphone and then like a just a default volume control next to that with a nice little scroll quite a long range on it which is quite nice to have it's not just like a up and down and you're done it's actually got some rotation in it and then in this little packet over here they do include a splitter and the splitter then converts it obviously into a stereo mic jack input and then a stereo headset input. So once you connect this onto the three-way on the end over here, then it is PC compatible. With the normal three-way, you can use it on mobile devices and PS4 and Xbox, etc. So that's gonna be completely compatible with all of those environments. Nice long cable on this guy as well. It's well over 1.8 meters long. Um, that's effectively 1.8 meters so we're going on to two meters long on the cable which is really really nice i have to say that overall comfort of this is pretty damn good i suffer from fat head syndrome i basically can't wear caps etc and even on the largest thing it's actually not even really touching my head sound isolation as well when you put them on is like pretty pretty extreme the, and the head cushioning the headband cushioning is like really good it's super 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 spongy same thing with the ear cushions they're very comfortable the actual speaker front didn't ever reach my ear and even if it did it's actually quite a convincing pad on top of that so overall build quality and comfort for like 500 rand 400 rand headset is pretty damn good and so obviously when they when evtech saw this because they've prototyped these themselves then they were like, hey, can you do a wireless version with the setup? And that's exactly what we have here. Now, it comes with a couple of accessories so that you can then still connect it to PS. It's not going to be wireless on the PS, unfortunately, but for PC, you get this little 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And with that, I got like some very impressive range, but it was kind of weird because it was split down the middle. The microphone only really reached about 10, 15 meters through, I'd say 10 meters through the walls, right? But the headset, and the audio from it literally went like another 10 meters. I got like 20 meters through the wall. Now the microphone itself is detachable, which is quite nice on this headset. And then it does have a mic mute button on the front just above that. Then behind it is the connection for the PlayStations, etc. So they give you a nice long three to one cable kind of thing that you can then connect into the headset and then the other end will then connect into PlayStation, Xbox, et cetera, mobile device, et cetera. Whatever you want to use, you can use this on. You can use it to talk to your mates, give them a call on WhatsApp or something to that effect. Absolutely no issues. Micro USB charging behind that. Then there is a power button and a volume button behind that. Now the claim for these headsets is 17 hours worth of in-use time. I've got to 15 and a half. And I was playing them pretty loud and consistently on music and, and media, which is a lot more draining than gaming. Because when you're in a silent environment in gaming or when you're at a low volume, then obviously it's going to use a lot less sort of power. So 17 hours isn't an offbeat claim and it basically got to 85% of that. And 15 hours is well more than enough i used them for two full days back practically besides like you know normal moving around and going to the shops and standing here doing film etc then um, um, amongst that time i usually i'm at the pc about eight hours a day so two full days for that and then charge up time was about two hours so not too bad so if you were to have the micro usb cable set up on a usb hub just like on your desk when you're done with them at the end of the day just plug them in and by the next day they'll be fully charged and that's actually really good for the batteries because these are lithium batteries they don't actually like being discharged a lot of the time they they actually want to be 20 percent or more throughout their lifetime they don't discharge it completely and then recharge completely actually very well 
it's actually not good for them. It's not the nickel metal hydrate or NICAD. Those, those usually prefer to be completely discharged and then recharged. So physical build quality is good, nice metal arms and stuff, all of that sort of stuff. It's pretty damn good. I was, I was shocked at how good they were for 700 Rand. And then I started using them and was shocked again. For media, these things are absolutely fantastic. For listening to music and movies, etc. they've got nice bassy tones, nice rich bass. It comes through really nicely. The top end is a little bit topped off or kind of capped off. Uh, I think from 13 kilohertz up. So your highs might be a little bit muffled compared to some other headphones and stuff. But it's not so bad that I was like, no, these are completely unusable. The audio positioning as well, the stereo split is pretty good. I think if the speakers were set just a little bit further back in the can, it would help with some soundstage. But the soundstage for 700 Rand headset is still more than acceptable. And the, this is where we get to gaming performance. So the mid-ranges are marked up like massively. So let's say here's a bar, right? With this end being 20 hertz and this end being 20 kilohertz. That's the audible range that humans can hear. Normally we top out actually at about 17,000 hertz or 17 kilohertz. That's usually where we stop being able to hear. And some people can hear a little bit better into the subsonics, like from 15 hertz. I've, I've had some mates and stuff that can actually hear that and not just experience the, the pushing of the subwoofer at that point. But let's say that's the audible range, right? So if there was a bar going across it like that, like almost like a graph, you would see it being like, Pretty, pretty up where the base is and everything. And then like in the mid range, it would spike like that. And then it would come back down on the other side. That's, that's the kind of audio profile that you get from this headset. And because of that, honestly, some, some of it's kind of like cheating. Gunshots and stuff, which are generally in that mid range vibe, the snap of those things are marked up like extremely. Footsteps as well, marked up pretty hard as well. So for gaming, especially if you're doing FPS gaming, you should be actually maybe somewhat of an advantage in that respect. The microphone as well is chat level. It's not going to record you singing or, or your next rap album um, looking at you the deck. So this is literally just for chat. And on that note, without further ado, I'm going to now jump over to my setup and give you a live demo of the microphone itself. Okay, so this is the microphone on its raw mode. It's just raw into OBS itself. I'm busy recording at 320 kilobytes on the audio and 10,000 kilobytes just for reference on the video. And this is what it then sounds like. Like I said, you're not going to be looking to uh, start a rap album or look to start a singing career on this microphone. But for chat, it's more than acceptable and you shouldn't annoy the people that are listening to you. Now back to the show. So as you can see, it's it's what I would call acceptable. It's not uh, gonna be groundbreaking, but it's also not going to annoy the people on the other end, thank goodness. I, there's nothing worse than when someone sounds like they're literally sitting in the middle of a bathroom and you get all this gong from like the space that they're in and the mic picking up all the echo, it's just horrible. So at least it doesn't do that. Overall, with this package and everything that you're getting with these headsets, the price point that they're coming through at the value is extremely, extremely good. 700 Rand for a wireless headset that actually has more than a day's battery life that, that can actually get some proper distance from it. Removable microphone, mute button on the headset. Like it's got all the premium headset features without a 2000 Rand price point being attached to it. I think these are a really good entry into the catalog at EVTech and I, I know that you know times are tough and a lot of us need this sort of equipment for chatting etc and now even if you're looking at like a thousand round headphone you can actually get something wireless that you can use the entire day absolutely no problem for 700 bucks these have just absolutely blown me away it's not that these aren't good or anything like that it's just 700 rand wireless headset okay cool Anyway, that is all we have time for today. If you have enjoyed this review, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And I will be doing a giveaway once I'm finished with all of these reviews. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you on the flip side, my homies. Cheers.